you know, Coach, just your, your overall reaction to the way your, your defense played. Well, I'm really proud of them. I, I think it's obviously played with great effort, and you cannot believe the, the distractions and the difficulty we had with preparation with some of these kids playing with injuries and missing practice and, and other things. And, I mean, some of them we were really concerned if we didn't have them for the game. And uh, some of those same guys played 35, 40 plays and did a heck of a job. So we were fortunate. I think our office of medical staff, training staff, did a great job. But I tell you, these, these guys played with a lot of heart because we had some guys that, that really, you know, in some situations we would have not played them. Ellis, the, the importance of the pressure you were able to get on Taj Boyd, um, like you always said you wanted to rush with four guys, and it seemed like tonight you were able to do it. You get them in some more third and longs too, though, but how, how big was that for you guys? Well, that was huge. Uh, we mixed. We brought four, and then we, we did pressure a little bit, but <clears throat> we had success affecting him with four, and then he was escaping the pocket a little bit, but uh, we brought some pressure to try to keep him uh, hemmed up. But most of it was done by our front four. And I thought the coverage at times was, was certainly good enough that it gave them time to get there. And then there were some other times that they, they got there quick enough on, on just some one-on-one -on -one moves and so forth. And it made a lot of difference. The only problem we really had during the course of the game is we had a couple of missed assignments on one of the drives. And we weren't fitting up the little counter run up inside. And other than that, I was, I was really proud of the way they played most of the time. <coughs> uh, you've been around this rivalry a long time. Just how big is it for South Carolina to get three straight over Clemson? Well, y'all know me. I'm not into a lot of that stuff. I mean, I'm I'm happy for our players. I mean, they they work so hard and everything. And uh, we've got some guys that, that I think are very deserving of all they get. Uh, I mean, I'm not all that into streaks and and all that stuff. I mean, I obviously hopeful it's a sign that our program is going in the right direction. Clemson's a great football program, and to beat them three years in a row is a great accomplishment for our players. <clears throat> Eli, was it anything you guys did to limit Watkins' touches, or was it more what they were calling on the offensive side? I don't think he was healthy, and I'm not taking anything away from our performance, but he's not full speed right now. And uh, you know, I think basically we played a lot more zone than we usually do, and I think when you do that, sometimes uh, a certain receiver is not – going to get the one-on-one -on -one routes that he wants to get. Some of the stop and goes, stutter moves, and those type of things, maybe we did a little better job on that. But, uh, you know, I, he, he certainly is not full speed right now, and I think that affected a little bit. Alice, you've been saying since the first game of the season you're a blue-collar bunch, but now ranked in the top five defensively. You still still sticking to that blue-collar? I think player? that was obvious tonight. I think that's what we are. And, uh, you know, when we don't play that way, we're not real good, but uh, we've got some good football players. Don't get me wrong. There are a lot of good football players in this conference. Alice, how would you compare tonight's performance for the defense with the uh, performances you had against Vanderbilt and Kentucky? Well, I, the one against, uh, I'm trying, those two games, we played about as clean. I use that expression about assignments and technique and being on top of things. We played about as clean in those two games as I've ever been around a team. And sometimes that happens when you're not being threatened or give up big plays and you don't lose your poise. Uh, there were some times tonight that we got out of our skin. Uh, we busted some assignments. We sped up the tempo on one series and snapped it on first sound a few times. Uh, when we tried to get it in a little bit quicker, we weren't always lined up that well. Uh, we lost a man in man-to-man -man coverage for the touchdown. Uh, but we had some things tonight that we weren't really on top of a game, but it's because of the fact that Clemson's got some playmakers and made some plays, and I think we lost the poise a little bit. But the physical element of it, I thought, was what stayed. The effort and the physicality of it was good all the way through. Ellis, as you mentioned, you guys haven't been perfect defensively all year, and like you said, not, not necessarily even tonight. But why do you feel like tonight and throughout the past you know, nine games, you guys have been such a good red zone defense? I don't know. I, I think a lot of times red zone comes down to stopping the run and, and uh, you know, getting back in third and long. Uh, you know, it's, it, I think sometimes statistics – are very evident, and sometimes they, they're not that evident. I don't know. I think you know there are a lot of things you can read into them if you want to. But I think we played better red zone uh, down the stretch. We cut out one of our red zone coverages that we weren't playing well, and uh, we started pressuring a little bit more in the red zone. Uh, started playing a little bit more man and, and trusting the players, and I think it helped a little bit. <clears throat> Alice, the offense held the ball for 37 minutes for 37 minutes, scored 34 points. What does it mean uh, for the defense 
that, that the offense had such a good game. Um, considering right. what they've been <clears> before. Especially when you play on one of these high tempo teams that won't snap the ball 90 plays. And, and one of the reasons they had 60 plays tonight is we got off the field. And one of the reasons is because our offense stayed on the field. Uh, I thought the time where we stepped up the most, we had a hard time getting first downs during the stretch in the second half, and we still were able to hold on. But uh, early in the game, I mean, it was obvious that the drives that we were having offensively make it better for you because not only can you get off the field, catch your breath, but you can make adjustments. Uh, when you're three and out, and you, a lot of times you send them back out there and you haven't gotten things fixed from, from the previous series. but. Uh, you know, we've had to do a lot of the things we've had to do because of what happened to us with injuries, but I think our offense has just done an absolutely fantastic job, especially in the running game and making first downs. And that, that frustrates a team like a, a high-tempo team. Can't get enough snaps. You was real